Greetings everyone. Today we're going to look at publishing a route network uh, from ArcGIS Pro specifically for the use of uh, ArcGIS indoors. In this case I've got a map here and I've got a route network and this one is uh, includes a building indoor route network as well as uh, it connects to a external uh, outdoor route network. And so I'm ready to publish my route network to my ArcGIS server, uh, in this case my indoors server. And what I want to do here is I'm going to go into a new map um, that I'm going to start. And in here I've got my uh, couple things in here, but what you want to do first is you're going to want to add, um, you're going to want to add your network data set. So you can add that in there. And this is mine showing all my pathways. Then your next step here is going to be um, under analysis, you're going to go to network analysis. You're going to add in a route uh, layer as well as a closest facilities. And this is what you're going to get for results over here. I've got my route and my closest facilities in here. And I'm going to rename this one. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is actually remove my network data set from here. And at this point, I see an empty map, but I do have my closest facility and my route layers in my web map. I'm going to save that. And then the next step is we're going to share and we're going to share, publish a web layer. So then I see this dialog box over here uh, come up on the right. And in this case, I'm just going to change mine to say routing and for a summary I'll give it Westlawn indoors door and outdoor route network okay my tags I'm gonna go ahead and use tags for Westlawn I'm gonna do indoors routing and closest facility Okay. In this case, I'm going to copy all my data uh, to the server and rather than using referenced uh, data. And then um, I also want to uh, use map image for this. So we'll select map image. Okay. And then I'm going to save it in my project folder. Okay. And I see that there. And then I want to, right now I'm not going to share this. I can change the sharing configuration uh, later on. Then under configuration, I can look here. And I'm going to want to select network uh, and analysis. So I'm definitely going to want to check that in this example. Okay. One, once I've got that figured, I can also adjust my time zone if I want to choose that. Uh, choose which time zone I'm in and we'll leave those settings alone and then at this point I'm ready to analyze and publish let's go ahead and analyze this here okay and we find no errors so now I'm ready to publish so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video while I publish that and we'll join back in a minute Okay, once that publishes, we are going to uh, manage the web layer after it's finished publishing. And we'll bring that over here so we can see that. Then I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to paste that in my browser window. And then at this point, um, this opens the service information page where we see the individual links to the route and closest facility components. Each of these links goes to the respective REST endpoints for the services and are what we should be adding to the indoors configuration table in the web apps configuration file. So if I'm going to click on uh, closest facilities, I'm going to copy this URL, bring that into my pro project for my URL here. Go ahead and paste that. Then I'm going to also grab the other the other one here for the route and I'm going to copy that bring that into my 
Pro project as well. Under Network URL, paste that. And I'll save my edits. And then that's ready to go and ready to uh, publish to my indoors web app. So thanks for watching today and best of luck with your route network publishing.